Hello there. In this topic, we're going to see what are the different kinds of hierarchies you have in HANA and how to build them. Generally speaking, there are two kinds of hierarchies. One is called the level hierarchy and one is called the parent and child hierarchy. A level hierarchy is basically something like region, country and state. So if you drill down into a specific region, then you would see the country. And then if you drill down into a country, you will see the different states. In the parent and child hierarchy, you have a child associated with a parent. So in this case, Germany is the child of Dak and Bayern is the child of Germany and similarly Ireland and so on. So that's the, those are the kinds of hierarchies you can build. So this will look something like this. If you build a drill down, you will drill down into Dak and you'll get Germany and you drill down to Germany and you'll see these two values. And similarly, if you see a parent-child hierarchy, you will see if you drill down to 1, you will see 2 and 3 and then if you drill down to 2, you will see 4. Generally, these guys all have the same data type and in this case, you can have different data types. That's something you need to keep that in mind. Right, let's go to HANA and take a look at how to build them. I've already built these hierarchies here. So let's take a look at the location hierarchy and you can build hierarchies by clicking on this plus sign and this is a part of your semantics. So you double click on this. So what I've done is I've built a location hierarchy and I have clicked and chosen all the columns and organized along with the correct sequence. So we have country, then we have region and then we have the city. So naturally, if I had some other column to associate, for example, uh, you know, a customer number, I could do that. But I'm not going to do that. Let's just delete it. The level type is you want to tell the engine whether this is a regular kind of hierarchy or is the column a calculated column or do you have any kind of time attribute associated with it. So that helps the engine process it a little bit better. You can order by any of these columns, you can always change it, but this is by default the same element as a column and you can always change it and you can also decide on a sort direction. Right about here, the node style is something where you want to decide what you want to see at the hierarchy level. So if you want to see the path, let's say you are looking at a specific city, then it will say city, it will say country dot state dot city. So that is the path and if you want to see the level name, it will show just the one level up. If you go to advanced, you have a couple of more properties which you can use. One is you can aggregate at all nodes. So what this means is if you have a, you know, a parent and two children or if you have one level and then two levels and if you summarize or if you aggregate all the columns, it should show you the total of all the child and the parents together. So that's when you can add aggregate at all nodes. And it should also be aggregated at different levels. So you need to you need to see aggregation at a country level, then at a state level and also at a city level. But it also shows you a total aggregation of all the levels. Okay, now let's take a look at the parent and child hierarchy. So this, this is where you decide, you know, whether what kind of hierarchy this is whether it is going to be a parent and child. Okay, for the benefit, let me build another one. I'll delete it. I can delete this parent and child right here and I can build one. All right, let's say this is log PC. And here I can decide what kind of hierarchy this is going to be. So this is going to be a parent and child hierarchy. And then here you need to associate the child node. So for example, the region is a child column of a parent called land one and then here you would say that ORTO is the child of region. So you can you can build like this how many other levels you want. Okay, so if you have a scenario where 
you have for something like this right so this land one is a parent and also it's in the child column so then what happens is there is no parent to be selected then what we can do is then you can select something called a step parent so for that you need to come to the advanced and you can associate this with the step parent in first you need to set the orphan nodes to step parent so orphan nodes are nothing but where you don't have a root above you you don't have a root node above you that's when you become orphan or you don't have any association at all so you don't have a parent and then you're just hanging around in those columns then you have to be associated to a orphan node so you can decide here what you want to do with the orphan nodes whether you want to ignore them or you want to associate with the step parent and you can order by here and also you can decide the sort direction okay so that's how you build a uh, hierarchy let's activate it and it's been successful you can open it and you can see that it's been active yeah this is already active so that's why it's saying it's already active okay we will see the actual reporting of this hierarchy in the reporting section